Hello, I'm Jan Gensel Bates, and I want to welcome you to Mary Kay. And hopefully, you have already watched my welcome video, and you have watched the nine-minute uh, inventory discussion video on Mary Kay in Touch in, in the video lounge. Now, if you haven't watched the nine-minute inventory discussion video yet, I'm going to suggest you go ahead and pause this and go ahead, go to MaryKayInTouch.com. Click on the video lounge and then under most recent, in the toolbars you'll see most recent, see inventory discussion. Go ahead and watch that first and then come back to this. And now that you've come back, if you didn't leave, it's okay. But to reiterate, the inventory is not mandatory. However, we know that it's encouraged. And of course, who doesn't love a lot of free product, right? So you may be saying, yes, I would love to have inventory, but I don't know where to get the money for it. Am I supposed to sell that much first or what? Well, that is exactly why I will explain this video and all the information about that. I'll explain how I can be a ninja when it comes to finding money too. We will start with your score on your worksheet that the company recommended. That number can be a starting point for us. Other considerations are like, how many people you already know, how many hours you want, you plan to devote to your business immediately, how much cash you need immediately. We will want to chat with you personally about all this for your decision. So thank you for taking time to watch this video so that I can give you a few, few things to think about and information prior to our discussion. First, if you have not, you are not making this decision on your own, Please have the person who will be assisting you in the decision watch the company inventory video and this video with you. Next, have you thought about your goals and your dreams? If you could have anything or do anything with the money that you will earn, what is it? What, what can you dream about? What have you dreamed about? And how much do you want to make each week and each month? Those are the things I want you to think about before we have our actual one-on-one -on -one discussion. Now for the list of your friends, family, coworkers, and et cetera, I recommend that you think of at least um, making a list of a pretend wedding list. The average wedding list is usually about 150 people. Can you get your list that large? Well, I suggest that you not only put that, um, the list together, but I suggest that you only put women on the list who have skin. Ha <laughs> ha, right? Well, I know. I don't want you to prejudge them, though, with the thoughts of this. Maybe, okay, well, she doesn't wear makeup, or, you know, maybe, you know, she doesn't want to be on my list, or maybe she can't afford it. You, you know, you can prejudge with all those thoughts. Don't do that. I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is just write the names down of who you would invite if you were having a wedding. I never wore makeup myself, and... I didn't take care of my skin. In fact, I used to use dial soap on my face, right? Well, when my friend Kathy called to ask me to let her practice on my face because she had just started her Mary Kay business, I said, oh, Kathy, I don't wear makeup. Well, she just said, well, I know, but please just let me practice. And here it is, 36 years later, I'm still in the company, I'm making money, I'm driving a pink Cadillac, and it was the best decision I've ever made. So now I want you to, um, I want to ask you a favor. I need for you for the next several minutes to not use the emotional side of your brain. We have an emotional side of our brain and we have an analytical side to our brain. And I want you for the next several minutes to use the analytical side of the brain because for the next few minutes, we're going to think like a boss, meaning that we are only going to think using our analytical side of our brain. And the only time you can use the emotional side is when I use the word free. Can you, can you do that? When I, can, when I say free, you can just let your heart race. Okay, great. Well, once you make your list of 150 people, we know you'll have like an inner circle of about 20 friends. Those 20 will love you and they'd even buy dog fur dog food from you if you were selling dog food, right? Because they love you and they want to help you with your new business. So the th same thing's going to be true about your Mary Kay business. So there's going to be a certain amount of people that you facial like in your first two weeks or first week or two. And 
They don't care about if you have products on hand. They just want to help you. But what's going to happen after about two weeks is that you're going to kind of cross over the line from close friends to an acquaintance or even a stranger. Those people, well, they ran out of cleanser yesterday and they're out of mascara right now and their mascara is flaking under their eyes right now and they need a mascara right now. They also know that they can purchase mascara at Walmart or they know a girl at work that sells Mary Kay and they know she has inventory on the spot for delivery. Even though they know you are sweet and you're likable and you're wonderful and you even gave a great presentation, they're gonna buy a token item from you to help you and to help the hostess. However, they're going to leave your party and they're gonna go buy it from a girl that they can get it from right now because they need it right now. And of course, without saying this to you, they are going to go somewhere else. So, now, you begin to lose money by not having inventory on hand that minute. The question always is, do you have to have inventory? No, you don't have to do anything. However, it will behoove you to start with something like your most popular selling products and those um, will be the products that you like. And I will help you pick those out. It's just not shipped to you from the company, boom. It's going to be that you're going to be given products to, you know, it's not like you're just going to be given products to sell. We're going to handpick the things that you know that you or your friends would like, you, what you like, and what you think you can sell in the first two weeks. And I'm going to teach you how to get the products. I'm going to teach you how to run your business debt free, and I'm going to teach you how to sell it. That's what our job is. But you don't have to do anything. If you can see the value in having inventory, I'm about to show you how to find the money. If you will open your Ready, Set, Sell brochure, you will see all that the company um, video explained about the bonus free, there's that word again, free products that you can receive with your first order. I want to explain a few more details though first. Okay, so first, wholesale is the amount that you pay for the product. Second, retail is what the company pays, what the customer pays for the product, excuse me. Retail is what the customer pays for the product. Third, free is what you will receive from the company as your bonuses. And fourth, you will receive free products with the Great Start program throughout your first four months. And we will share more on that later. But right now, on your Ready, Set, Sell brochure, I want you to go to the level of inventory that in, in that, right where it says 3,600, I want you to write 36 customers. Well, and then when you flip it, you're gonna see 3,000, I want you to write 30 customers. The 2,400, 24 customers. The 1,800, 18 customers. You're seeing the pattern. And 1,200 is maybe 10 to 12 customers. And on the 600, just write personal use with a few family. The 600 will literally fit in your kitchen sink. I know you think I'm crazy, but it really will. The least you can order on your first order and immediately receive free products is the 600 wholesale order. Also, when you purchase your inventory now and in the future, you will pay wholesale for the products and the sales tax on the retail amount to Mary Kay. So if you purchase for a 600 wholesale order, which is a 1200 retail value, you pay the sales tax on the 600, uh, excuse me, you pay the 600 wholesale and you pay the sales tax on the 1200 at the time that you purchase it. So 600 plus the tax on 1200. You will then recoup the sales tax when you sell the products. Mary Kay does this so that we don't have to have a sales tax license. We don't have to do any reporting or sales tax on our business. Awesome, right? Next, remember that the, per the pictures that you see in the Ready, Set, Sell brochure, are, they're just only examples for you to see, so you can kind of get an idea in your, in your mind what that would look like. How much would that be if I spent that much money? Now I want to go over how to get the money to start your business. Because remember, I can be a ninja. I've had about, I don't know, I guess there's about eight ways to share, and then we're going to talk and discuss the best options for you, because you get, you'll have time to think about this. Um, 
So here's the, the eight places to find money. Ready? Because I want you to write this down. You, you might want to, you can listen to this again, but it's really great if you write it down. So number one, you can borrow from yourself. And what does that mean? Well, you, have, you might have a savings account. You might have a CD that's uh, terminating. You might, it might be at tax time when you're watching this, and you can use your tax return check. Uh, you might have a home equity loan that you can borrow against. Um, or a pension, or even some people do a whole life insurance policy where you can borrow against it. And so when you do something like that, you borrow from yourself. I still recommend that we set up a payment plan. And we would set this payment plan up um, over like a year's time. And then you would know exactly how much each month to put back and give yourself back. <laughs> okay. And you can even do it with interest if you want. I can show you how to do that too. The number two way is a 0% credit card. And that um, doesn't have, you know, it, well, let me say a 0% credit card, that if you already have one that doesn't have a balance, but let's just say there's a 0% credit card. Mary Kay Cosmetics has worked out with a bank, a, um, they've partnered with them to offer to us a 0% credit card for one year. You get 0% for one year. And this is something that you can apply through through Mary Kay in touch um, your web, the Mary Kay in touch site, you would go to, uh, ordering and the drop down menu says MK connections and under MK connections, you can click on there and that's where it will show you how to apply for the credit card. 0% for a year. However, I do know that to get approved, you probably have to have a 680 credit score, um, or higher 680 or higher. And if you have no idea what your credit score is, then you would go to creditkarma.com, which is C-R-E-D-I-T-K-A-R-M-A, creditkarma.com. And you can put your information in and for free and for no penalty or anything, you can find out your credit score. Um, some people don't know that. If you already know that you have bad credit, then in, under creditkarma.com, you can also find ways, and they will give you recommendations of something maybe to apply for to get credit. But for the Mary, the one that Mary Kay has partnered with, I'm pretty sure you have to have a 680 or higher credit score. Okay, so number three, the number three way would be like a credit union, where let's say maybe you or your husband work um, somewhere where they have a connecting credit union. If they have a connecting credit union to your business, a lot of times you can get a very easy personal loan through them and then you can, they will just kind of um, take the money out of your check uh, because that's how they can guarantee it. Now, let me just say this, that if you go to a credit union or a bank and you're going to apply for a loan, please do not tell them it's a business loan because what that means to them is that you're going to want about a hundred thousand dollars or more because most businesses that start up have to have that high of an amount of money to start their business. And we don't have to have that much to start Mary Kay. So really what you want to do is a personal loan and you want to, um, and some, sometimes they need collateral and sometimes they don't. Sometimes credit unions are easier to get, um, loan through without collateral uh, if you belong to it and again if it's connected to your work but I'm thinking something like like a teacher's credit union where you're a teacher and they have the teacher's credit union so that just kind of connects everything now the fourth way is a bank loan which is exactly like a credit union only it's not usually connected to your um, work in any way a lot of times bank ha banks have higher interest rates as well and sometimes more strict regulations in order to get the loan so that's a fourth way though. The fifth way is a credit card with interest that you might already have. Maybe, maybe you already have a credit card and you um, don't have a balance on it and you just have it ready available uh, and you could use that for your business. Um, of course, we love 0% for a year, but if you already have one and you can't get another credit card and you already have one, that's an option, right? Okay, now, if you aren't in a position to borrow money or you don't want to borrow money, I have a few more great ideas. So number six way to get money, I call it recycled money. You could just sell something and not, and not like through a yard sale or a garage, you know, like a garage sale, but look around your house. Do you have any big ticket items like pianos or um, I'm just different kinds of big ticket items 
that you could sell and then recycle that money into your business. Now, if you don't have any big ticket items, what about your mom? What if you know somebody in your family, your mom, or somebody has something in their garage or out in a barn or somewhere that is a big ticket item, nobody's using it. And you could say, well, if I could sell that for you and then use the money for, to start my business, it would be recycling the money. And then over time, like say a year, we could set up a payment plan and you could pay them back for that item. That way you're still being accountable. You're still, you know, working with recycled money and it's a great way to start your business. Number seven is you can sell gold. You can sell jewelry. And sometimes, I mean, I mean, this is kind of funny, but have you ever been married before and you're not using the jewelry? Uh, or, you know, just maybe you've got some gold jewelry around the house that you just, you aren't using it anymore. It doesn't have any sentimental value to you and you could sell it. So what you do is you go to a gold store. You don't go to a pawn shop, but you go to a gold store and they have gold at so much per ounce and they'll weigh it and tell you how many ounces you have. And again, recycled money, right? And then we have silver because silver is the same way. You can um, take it into, because usually it's a gold silver place. They, they'll take both and you can sell um, something that doesn't mean anything to you. And sometimes it's not jewelry. Sometimes it's things around your house. And the question is, so how do you know if it's real silver or not? Well, usually you can tell because it tarnishes and you have to polish it. So that's usually real silver. And you can, you, a lot of times the, the price of gold and silver is very high and you can get um, a great amount of money to just recycle into and use for your business. Now, the eighth way is kind of a two-parter. You can borrow from a family or friend. Maybe you have somebody in your family that just loves you. They love the idea that you're going to be an entrepreneur and they would love to help you get started in your business. Uh, maybe um, you don't. And wouldn't it be nice if we all did? And uh, But if you don't, then another way is that you can sell $100 gift certificates to people that you know. And when they redeem the gift certificate, they would redeem it for $115 worth of products. Because if you sell for instance, 18 gift certificates at $100 a piece, you got $1,800 in your hand to put in an $1,800 wholesale order. And with an $1,800 wholesale order, if you look in your Ready, Set, Sell brochure, you'll see that you get like $684 in free products, right? So the, an $1,800 wholesale is worth 36 retail plus your $684 free. Remember, let your heart jump when I say free. Then you would end up with $4,284 worth of retail product at your cost of 18 and you used their money to start the business with. So you would be able to let them redeem their certificates and they would choose enough product where it would, it would equal like around $2,070 and you would still have like $2,200 of retail products left on your shelf. And it was all through them buying gift certificates. So lots of ways. We can even get more creative. If you call me and we need to talk, we can get as creative as we need to be. So out of all of those eight ways that I've given you, I would like you to think about what would be your first, second, and third choice. What would be the ways that you would try to get the money? What would be the ones that would be most important to you and the easiest for you? So let's just say though, that your first choice doesn't work. Then we could look at your second choice. And if that doesn't work, then we can look at the third choice and on because we want to be women who don't give up. But we must also keep in mind your 15 day mark. And that was the 15 days from the day you started your business because that those 15 days you have where you can get the most free. And remember that beautiful glamour look package that they showed you that comes in your free product stuff when your order comes. If we order that first order of $600 or more within the first 15 days. Okay, so it's, an, it's a really important reason <laughs> to also get those lookbooks out and do your lookbook challenge because it's just another way for you to get uh, sales going immediately. And I know one thing that's, that's been really, really true throughout my career is that when we tell people that we're excited, that we've started a new business, we have our first challenges, and you would love it if they would help you, I find that people do wanna help you. Now, let's just say 
We've looked at all those options. I want you to hear my heart for a minute because when you decide on one way to get the money or let's say you have a change of heart or the bank says no or the credit union says no or the you know to get the charge card is no go all of it falls through it's no big deal the person who offered you this opportunity chose you because she likes you we only recruit people that we like and you can do this business with product immediately and you can do it without if all heck breaks loose and your all your options fall through or you change your mind about starting with inventory do not worry about it we'll start with the kit it will be a little bit harder but we'll start with the kit and we'll do it anyway okay i want to say thank you for listening and now it's time to call me if i'm your director or your director or your recruiter so that we can personalize all of this just for you let the journey begin